Hello everyone. So in a previous video, I covered uh, the concept of extra environments and extra environments are kind of instances of the same uh, environmental kind of uh, Jets EMV environmental variable. So I wanted to do another video and cover different environments just to, so you, it could be very clear the difference between like e, uh, EMV extra environment and a, a, a different Jets environment. So uh, a different Jets environment, that's just a term I'm kind of using right here to explain this. A different Jets environment is just like your development environment, your staging environment, your UAT environment, your production environment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at uh, a development environment that's already been deployed. And then I'm gonna also deploy a production environment and then you can see the differences between the two. And hopefully that makes it very clear the difference between like a different environment versus a, a extra environment of that same kind of Jets EMV environment. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the current kind of CloudFormation stack here. So here, here's a current CloudFormation stack with a, a development environment, demo dev is kind of what we have here. I'm gonna go to now uh, the terminal here and you go Jets URL and then you can see that this is the um, endpoint that's associated with this uh, development environment. So let's just open that up. Let's go visit it. So there's the uh, splash page. Here's the post crud and so there, there are the uh, records there. Okay, so that's currently the current development environment and the Lambda functions. I, I guess we could click on that real quick. Uh, post controller and we can click on resources here. We click on one of these, uh, uh, yeah, we can click on one of the Lambda functions there. So here's the Lambda function right there. And here is, we just throw test payload, I guess. But this is the Lambda function that's associated with, um, let's put it side by side. That uh, This is the post controller index and that's associated with this method right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna deploy to a different environment, okay? So I'm just gonna go Jets deploy. Now I'm tack on Jets EMB equals production in the front. So, by that, just doing that alone, that's gonna create a now production environment and that is going to deploy it. And we're actually kind of see it spin up and everything a little bit here once it's kind of done building here. Uh, so let's go over to, uh, it shouldn't take too long. So I'm actually, we'll see if I should pause the video or not. Uh, let's just go to CloudFormation. So we can see one CloudFormation stack. Let's kind of organize our windows here. You can see actually the creating progress. So let's refresh here. You can see now it's creating the prod environment. So it's going to go ahead and create the problem. I just want to show you the difference, uh, the different CloudFormation stacks that kind of creates here. So this is like a different prod environment, or it's basically prod short for production environment versus the development environment which is right here. And so sometimes you want like a different production environment versus a development environment, because let's say you might have different database settings there, or you might just have like different, like let's say function uh, timeouts or function memory sizes, uh, just, sometimes the production environment is, behaves a little bit different than the development environment. Uh, another example is to say, you might want to send like emails out to a separate, uh, to like a sandbox account in the development environment, but in production you want to send out to the, actually the user emails, right? So then uh, when you're testing development, you don't actually email users. So those are kind of different, um, different examples of different environments. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video until this is kind of done creating, and then I'm gonna finish uh, kind of the demo here. Hi guys, so the deploy is now completely done here uh, and we can see the new endpoint here. So I'm gonna actually run um, Jets URL to show you the a development endpoint. Now I'm gonna uh, prepend Jets EMB equals production here to show you the production endpoint. Um, so here is the development endpoint because I didn't uh, specify Jets EMB and Jets EMB defaults to development. And here I specify production and here's the prod uh, endpoint. So both of these endpoints have different API gateway resources, different Lambda functions, everything. They're completely segregated there in, in, that, in that sense. So I'm just visiting the production endpoint now. I hit post and you can see there's post. I, I For the sake of this demonstration, I just connected in the same database, but there are different resources here. So there are two different stacks here. Let's go actually go to Lambda too, and then you can see all the Lambda functions. Real quick, uh, demo. Now I just do demo because you're gonna see both uh, prod and dev here. So completely separate environments here. And then we can also go to, uh, let's say API gateway, API gateway. And we're gonna see two different API gateways now. So here is API gateway. Here's the dev with all the resources there. And you can click on prod and prod with all the resources there. And uh, again, the advantage is you can have different uh, environmental settings uh, depending on what you need. Like for production, usually there's like a, you know, there's a prod, Jets EMVs, flag that set or environment variable image just kind of uh, set. And then that one, uh, you could kind of change your logic based on that. 
So I uh, want to show you that. Hopefully that was helpful uh, to explain the difference between uh, the concept of extra environments, which are instances of the same Jets EMB environment, and uh, the, and different environments, which are basically development, staging, production, those type of environments. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully you guys found this video actually helpful. Uh, if you guys like videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, and share it with your friends to encourage more content like this. If you want to watch future videos videos like this, uh, you can always subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers.